future to ensure that there is in no interference in their sovereignty, and I think this is an important time for him to do that. Let me, let me pick up on that, because President Obama famously came into office uh, saying that he intended to repair relations between the United States and Russia, uh, which brought us to that famous moment uh, involving then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and the Russian Foreign Minister. Take a look. I want Time now for our digital download. Facebook made a blockbuster deal this week, buying a phone messaging service called WhatsApp for a staggering $19 billion. Mark Zuckerberg stunned just about everyone with the move, since WhatsApp has just 50 employees, no advertising, and charges its users just 99 cents a year. And I was one of them, Howie. Well, this is my, my reaction, i got to tell you, was, what on earth is WhatsApp? Because its founders <laughs> never do any press, and I was not familiar with it. And my second reaction was, $19 billion, that's insane. Right, but if you look at a lot of analysts, you get over that huge sticker shock from the very beginning. Yeah. A lot of analysts are saying, hey, it is actually in line with what people pay per user. They have 450 million users. Around the world. Around the world, and it works out to be about $42 per user. Mark uh, Cuban actually sold his. I wanted to uh, present you with uh, a little gift, which represents what President Obama and Vice President Biden and I have been saying. And that is, 